Now, how about this for an inspirational story? A former serviceman who was told he was unlikely to walk again has started a tough challenge today. Phil Parker from West Sussex suffered severe spinal damage four years ago, but he slowly learned to walk again. Rather than let his injury hold him back, he's climbed mountains, he's also been parachuting, but now he's set off on a mission to walk 2,012 miles by the end of 2012. Daniel Glavin was there to see him off. Phil Packer and his supporters smiled through the drizzle as they started to walk. Phil uses a stick as his injuries haven't healed. He's doing this to raise money for a centre in West Sussex that will help children who have to overcome challenges in life. Something Phil had to do when he was told he was paralysed. I lost my self-belief and my self-worth and my self-esteem overnight and it took me a long time to get that back and the way I got it back was by being inspired by other people because people believed in me and they still say that they believe in me. When Phil learnt to walk again, he started challenging himself. He climbed El Capitan, a vertical rock formation in California, and completed the London Marathon on crutches. Over the next 300 days, famous faces will be joining him on his different walks. Phil was an enormous inspiration to every, everybody, and um, so it'd be fantastic that, you know, at the end of this challenge, that this, this you know, centre of excellence can be, you know, can be achieved. His aim is to, to raise a lot of money this year. Um, he's going to walk 2,012 miles, which, let's be honest, that's a long way. But for for a man who's got the issues he has, I, I, I think you know I hold him in such high regard. Students at Chichester College are planning where he goes. Tomorrow I'm walking in Bournemouth with the RNLI, and Thursday I'm at Brighton and Hove Albion, and then uh, Friday I can't quite remember, and then we've got Portsmouth and Southampton and some wonderful places that I'm walking, and it's all with young people. And that's what it's all about. And anyone's welcome to join in. Daniel Glavin, BBC South Today. Good luck, Phil. Hope it goes well for you.